Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. I'll try to be as short as possible with this one. Uh, today we'll be creating some planetary rotation, actually just adding rotational force to a planet model. So this first part in Blender where we design a planet is not crucial and you can skip if you want to. Uh, but if you don't want to skip it you, and you want to stick around, uh, let's just start making this planet. Now when you open up Blender you get this basic first scene, so press B on your keyboard, select everything and X to delete it. Now uh, first thing we will do is Shift A to create a nice icosphere and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn the subdivision count to 3 so it a, has a, a bit more polys and uh, now we're gonna click on this little wrench over here and we're gonna add a modifier. Uh, we're gonna add a decimate modifier and we're gonna turn this down to somewhere around 0 0.6, 0 0.5, it doesn't really matter. Uh, do it how you like it, how it uh, looks more appealing to you. Now we're gonna press apply and add an add modifier, we're gonna add displace modifier. We're gonna create a new texture and we're gonna go to texture tab over here and change the type from image or movie to noise. We're gonna back, go back to our wrench and uh, we're gonna turn the strand down. Now turn it, uh, make it look so that it looks good to you, it really doesn't matter. We're making just a simple uh, planet model so. Uh, yeah, mm, I think it looks good enough and I'll just export it to Unity so go to file and export FBX um, um, to whatever project you have uh, don't forget you have to export it to assets so to assets folder I'm gonna close my blender file over here because I already have my planet in uh, in my unity in my assets in unity so here's my planet and here's the here's the basic unity scene. Uh, what you're gonna do is uh, drag our planet to the scene. Now uh, I'm just gonna s uh, put it uh, somewhere in the center so I know where it is. Uh, so I have it centered and the camera is already here. It has an eye on him on the planet and I'm gonna drag the planet a bit closer to the camera and a bit up so it's aligned with it so it's in the center of the image over here in the camera preview. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, we're gonna create this rotation uh, of our planet so we're gonna make make it move. Now uh, we're gonna add a component here a sphere collider so uh, just to see uh, just to have a visual visualization of our uh, of the rotation and uh, next thing we're going to do is add a rigid body. Uh, in the rigid body we're going to turn off the use gravity so our planet won't fall because right now our planet has mass and uh, it's affected by the gravitational force it's just like in real life. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dra drag our uh, planet rotation uh, script uh, to our uh, planet in here in the inspector tab. Now uh, the planet rotation script is available in the description you just double click it and you're in the past bin copy it create JavaScript file here in unity assets and uh, paste uh, what's uh, paste the script in the JavaScript file and that's it. Double click on it paste, paste, paste the script and you're done. Now if we uh, take a look in the script, uh, what's most important here is the those two lines over here. Those two lines make our planet uh, rotate. So uh, the first line and the second line, uh, these are actually just the same. Uh, these are actually the same. So uh, in the first line uh, we are just adding torque and uh, we, when adding torque we must tell Unity on which axis we will be applying this uh, rotational force. So with transform dot, dot up we'll, we tell Unity that we're going to apply this force on the y-axis and with transform dot forward 
uh, we tell you that we're gonna apply uh, this force uh, on the z axis so uh, we'll be able to, t to turn uh, the planet right left and up and down so uh, when multiplying it with torque and speed uh, that's uh, this is how we get it to rotate now if any of these uh, values is zero planet is going to rotate because uh, then the this it will zero times one is zero so yeah now uh, speed y uh, is over here speed z uh, speed y and speed z are just floats uh, that we can uh, define and variable torque is also float so but if uh, variable torque is uh, zero uh, it's not going to rotate in any direction if speed y is zero it still can rotate on the uh, left and right and the other way so we can close this down and uh, just make this planet uh, rotate we're gonna drag the rigid body component onto our RB uh, spot over here and we're gonna change the torque to 1 well let's make it 0 0.5 and let's play the scene uh, as you can see the planet's not rotating because uh, both of our speed y and z are 0 so let's change the speed z a bit let's turn it a bit up uh, as you can see 0 0.03 it already make, uh, makes it rotate and if we turn this in the opposite direction if we make it a negative uh, number it's going to turn in the other direction also we can change the speed y and it's going to rotate a bit up to as you can see change direction if you change this a lot it's going to turn a lot more on the y axis and that's basically all uh, you can mess around with it it's pretty cool uh, you can use this uh, if you're making a solar system or something uh, you can use it in uh, I know some simulations of uh, our universe. You can you can have fun with it, and it's really uh, it's really great uh, messing uh, around with physics in Unity. Let's just add it, uh, add a nice material to it so it looks more like a planet. And sorry for my voice, I'm really tired. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, this was all for today. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, uh, you can let me know. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, subscribe if you aren't yet, which you probably aren't because my yeah, I don't get a lot of views from subscribers. Thank you, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a fun uh, time day, guys. Bye.